Young Achievers Scholarship and Holistic Academic Skill Venture Initiative. AICT has formulated a scholarship scheme for meritorious students scheme, uh, seeking admission in four branches of engineering, civil, chemical, electrical, electronics, and mechanical in order to motivate the students to pursue engineering education at degree and diploma level in four branches of engineering. Now I would like to invite advisor one of scholarship and grant bureau, Professor Rajendra B. Kafle sir, to share the details of Yashasvi scheme 24 and throw some lights on the major points of Yashasvi scheme 20. Yes, Thank you very much. On behalf of AICT, I welcome you all who attended these programs. Chief guest of today's program, our honorable chairman, uh, Professor Sdaramji, our uh, vice chairman, Dr. Abhay Jereji, our member secretary, Rajivji, present for this program, launching program of AICT's Yashashvi Young Achievers Scholarship and Holistic Academic Skill Venture Initiative Scheme 2024. So, uh, AICT launches many schemes and continued many schemes uh, for the well being of the students, like uh, Pragati, Saksham, Sonath, ADF, PG. Aura scheme, SSPCA. So this is for the research, innovation, scholarship, maintenance, ISTEM facility, academic fees. So we are giving many schemes from the diploma to the uh, PhD level. And this is one of the most ambitious scheme uh, of the AICT for the students who are going for the core branch uh, engineering because core branch is the backbone of the our engineering. So we initiate take the initiative of these schemes and uh, under the guidance of our higher ups, uh, we launch these schemes today. So next, this scheme, next. This scheme for meritorious students uh, seeking admission in core branches of engineering in order to motivate students to pursue engineering education at diploma and UG level in core engineering branches. And this scheme is encourage students to pursue technical education in core branches of engineering and I especially the uh, core branches are civil, chemical, electrical, electronics, mechanical, engineering in AICT approved technical institutions. Next, the candidate, the eligibility of the candidate is first year of degree or diploma in the AICT approved institutions in the respective years. Then. There are a total 5,000 scholarships are there, 2,500 for the degree students and 2,500 for the diploma students. And the scholarships is rupees 18,000 per month for degree students, that is for the four years, 12,000 per month for diploma students, that is for the three years. After selection, the award will be paid scholarship through DBT, direct beneficiary transfer mode. Next. The selection of the candidate will be carried out on the basis of the merit. As for the merit list, we are giving uh, the scholarship on the basis of 12th standard as well as the 10th standard for the diploma, 12th for the degree. Reservation will be as per the government of uh, India policy. Scholarship will be renewed for next year by submitting the passing certificates, mark sheet followed by the letter of the head of the institutions as uh, our uh, process is uh, like that. The students shifted to any other branch. This is the most important in the scheme that uh, uh, if any students taking the admission into the core branches and then he shifted to the other branch, he will not get and he has to refund his. So this scheme is specially for the our uh, core branches. Application will be invited once in a year. Next. So uh, I hope uh, more and more students uh, get benefited from these schemes. Also requested to the head of the institutions, vice chancellors, teachers. To popularize this scheme, the scheme to reach the every students and get the benefit of this uh, scheme. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Rajendra B. Kapti, sir, for providing such a detailed description of the scheme. Now, I would like to invite Member Secretary, sir, uh, Professor Rajiv Kumarji, to share his views on the scheme. Thank you, madam. Honorable Chairman AICT. Vice Chairman AICT, my colleagues, and those who are joining this program through online mode. Very warm good morning to each and everyone. First of all, I congratulate who floated this idea for starting a scholarship scheme for promoting 
interest in core engineering branch. I would like to share some details about the core engineering branch since last three years. There is an increase in number of admissions in core engineering since last three years. So this is a, to give a further boost for the admissions in core engineering. This scheme has been started. This is particularly scholarship scheme for the students taking admission in the core engineering courses. So I, I hope the students from core engineering, they will apply for this scheme. And as informed by our advisor that our graduate students, those who are undergraduate students, they will be receiving 18,000 per annum and diploma students, they will be receiving 12,000 per annum as the scholarship. And number of scholarships for undergraduates is 2,500. And similarly for the uh, diploma students, they are 2,500. So if uh, we are even open to increase the number of scholarship, uh, seeing the trend and the interest of the students, those who are availing this scholarship, we are open for that. I hope colleges and students will take advantage and apply for this scholarship and we will uh, disperse this fellowship on the lines DBT uh, and the state nodal officer they have to verify the credentials of the students so this scholarship will be uh, reimbursed or given dispersed to the students in the line other scholarship schemes like Pragati, Saksham of AICT are being dealt. So thank you very much to our bureaus also for uh, uh, coming forward and just in a short time preparing this scheme and today we are releasing this scheme. Thank you very much. Jai Bharat. Namaskar. Thank you, Honorable Member Secretary, sir, for enlightening us with his thoughts. Now I request Honorable Vice Chairman, sir, Dr. Abhay Jerehi, to share his vision and thoughts on Yesha scheme. Honorable Chairman, Professor T.G. Sitaram, Honorable Member Secretary Raju Kumar Ji, Kakade Ji, and all our Bureau Heads as well as my colleagues of AICT. Again, I would like to first go ahead and congratulate the Bureau for launching this Yashasvi scheme. It's a very fantastic, it's a very unique initiative in itself. And I think this is the first of its kind initiative to give huge push for core engineering sector in this country. Dear friends, as we all know that our Honorable Prime Minister has given us the clarion call of making Bharat Vikasit by 2047. When we are talking about Vikasit Bharat, it means India needs to be built. And if you have to really build this country, then core engineering is going to play a very key role. And from that perspective, we need to ensure that more and more students actually opt for core engineering. Apart from that, India is now aiming for a big leap in manufacturing and production sector. And from that perspective also, we require so, uh, a huge manpower uh, of global competence in core engineering sector. For example, if you just look at a stat from chemical engineering sector, the current chemical engineering sector in India is around 220 billion, and by 30 and billion, billion dollars, I'm talking about USD, and by 2030, it is expected to be around 383 billion dollars. If we really just look at this market segment, the number of core engineers or chemical engineers in this country are relatively very few. So, from that perspective, AI City, under the guidance of Chairman Professor T.G. Sitaram, we felt that we should do some extra efforts to enthuse our youngsters to get into core engineering. Apart from that, now one of the great initiatives what uh, through this new education policy which has been launched is that all the students will now be able to do a major and a minor and when we are talking about minor degree 
you can act, always go for emerging sectors. So the core engineering sectors like chemical, electrical, electronics, mechanical can do major in their core engineering and go for minor in emerging technologies like AI, data science, and actually converge these two areas. So we felt that there is more opportunity for core engineering sector students. And from that perspective, we felt that if we actually come up with some kind of a scheme which will further enthuse this uh, entry into core engineering, it will be of certain help. So from that perspective, this Yashasvi scheme was conceptualized and launched. And I again applaud our chairman for his vision in this regard so that uh, uh, we have more and more students coming into core engineering sector. So thank you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. And I wish uh, that students uh, in large number will take benefit of this scheme. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Vice Chairman, sir, Dr. Abhajere for sharing the key thoughts and to make this scheme successful. It is a matter of great honor for all of us that our Honorable Chairman Sir, Professor T.G. Sitaramji is launching the AICT HSP scheme, which will motivate the students to take admission in four branches of engineering. Now I would like to invite Honorable Chairman Sir, uh, Professor T.G. Sitaram for launch of AICT HSP scheme 2024 and share his vision and thoughts through his keynote address. Oscar, colleagues, Mr. Chairman Dr. Abhay Jere, Mr. Rajiv Kumar, Member Secretary, Rajendra Kakde, Advisor, and all the other members of the Bureau, Scholarship and Grants Bureau, and all the other who are assembled here, as well as in the online. Teachers, faculty members, ladies and gentlemen. It's a really a excellent moment for me as a civil engineer to see the introduction of the AICT HSV scheme starting from this year for the students of core engineering students. Let me place and record the contributions made by the entire bureau in creating a very new scheme. Really, we need to applaud and appreciate that. So I think it's a very good uh, scheme which has been developed. And now we are launching it today so that you know, the students who are joining can think about joining to co we wanted to attract the talent who, who simply everybody wants to do only in computer science and related areas. Those we wanted some talented people also come to for engineering. Otherwise, the number of us, uh, uh, Sir Kumar highlighted, number of students joining core engineering in the last years is increasing every year about ten percent. The issue is actually is not about the number. There are, there are enough number of students in core engineering, like 75,000 in civil engineering, about 95,000 in mechanical engineering, 135,000 students who join across the country in electronics and communication. Okay. Electrical engineering, something close to about 65,000. However, in computer science and related area, we have about three and a half lakhs, five times of these. Students. The issue is actually very fast, poor quality students only come to college. So to attract the talented students to core engineering, we have instituted this course. More than that is, you know, I would like to also appeal to all the teachers to popularize this to the parents and the students when they come for admission. That the future of core engineering will be definitely better than the emerging areas like computer science, data science. These are all very short lived. 
So if you look at it, you know, IT courses today, things have changed. Very similar to that, it's going to happen in emerging areas. But the knowledge of emerging areas, with fuzzies on co-engineering, they can do much better, get better placements, and also sustainable you know, jobs long. So I appeal to the students to carefully choose their discipline while they are admitting. But I know they are not here, so I request the professors who are on the portal to also make such events in their colleges to popularize them. So in one way that a lot of poor students will be there you know, who would like to take this opportunity, at least for the sake of scholarship, they will come and join. Good students. So I, I feel that you know, they should uh, take this uh, fantastic opportunity. And I am very sure this program will be very successful. And I hope that large, large number of students will come for it. And I only appeal to our bureau saying that make a proper announcement. Posters, very colorful brochure should go, and poster should go, use social media, and reach out to all schools. That is plus two, that is that is plus two schools, CBSC school, KVs. So a poster should go everywhere saying that there is scholarships available for those who want to join civil, mechanical, electrical, chemical engineering in the country. And uh, good colleges are also should do this popularization in their thing and it will immediately actually, you know, also put a process, very transparent online process direct benefit transfer to the students. They should not wait for the scholarship. Yeah, you should be upfront deposit their scholarship into their accounts and uh, see that these programs will become very successful and popular again yes. in our country. Because as uh, Dr. Bejare said, we need to yet, yet build the nation. The yeah. is yet to be built in terms of infrastructure whether it is electrical or internet or any, any physical infrastructure has to be built. For this, we require core engineering. And also innovation today is also happening in core engineering along with digital communication and technologies. So these are only technologies, but basic is in the core engineering. So that's why I think, you know, this is a, Going to be an excellent scheme. I once again congratulate our bureau for coming up with a very innovative scheme. We also named it yes, yes, yes. Well, Young Achievement Scholarship in Linguistic Academic Skills Venture Initiative, which is basically you know for every student who is joining for engineering. This is the merit complete scholarship. It's a merit scholarship. So you can also add value to your resume by getting this. So there will be a rigorous selection process. And clearly the steps process is already defined to you. So I feel that colleges should reach out to more and more number of students and large number of students should apply. These few words. And once again, thank all of you who have joined online. We will make this a popular site. So thank you. Namaskar. Thank you sir, for launching the scheme and motivating students for taking admission in four branches of engineering. We hope that more and more students will take advantage of Yashasvi scheme 2024 with due permission of Honorable Chairman Sir. Launch ceremony of uh, Yashasvi schemes may be continued.